what is going on miners and welcome back to the hobbyist miner channel well today we have a rig build uh, we're going to be doing an amd rig build uh, we got a variety of different cards here amd cards i'm kind of consolidating things down uh, i've been slowly uh, getting rid of some of my hanging rack with the hp motherboard builds that i've been doing and moving into more actually racks like uh, 6 GPU or 10 or 12 GPU rigs and today we're doing that with some AMD cards um, so we have a variety of different uh, products here and parts we're going to go through those in a minute uh, I did get a care package from the team over at gprisers.com uh, they are a partner on the channel they provide a lot of the tech that we do use on the channel uh, everything from the risers to the splitters to the solid state cards or solid state uh, hard drive so shout outs to them thank you for supporting the hobbyist miner brand as well as the community um, keep an eye out on the channel next week we will be doing another gprisers.com giveaway uh, we'll be doing one uh, for na and one for eu so keep an eye out next week for that so they sent this over to me we'll go through these uh, as we're going to use some of these parts today we got two boxes the second box I'm super excited about. Um, so this has some splitters in it and solid state drives. Um, so this will be very handy uh, for today's video, but I'm just jumping right to the second box. Let's just put this one down because I knew about these, but didn't know I was getting these. You ready? Oh my gosh, check these out. So this is gprisers.com 120 millimeter fan. So let's check these out, you ready? Oh, we're on the computer here. This is a white ring LED 120 millimeter fan. I, I, I was talking with them about these, but didn't really know much details. So these are the fans. Okay, but check this out. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Look at that. It looks so freaking good. So yes, we, we don't buy these things because they look good and we buy them because they work well. I know, but it does help when it looks really good. So some of the details on it, this was something I was interested in. So it's 120 by 120, 25 millimeters. So it's pretty thin, um, 1500 RPMs, which is definitely important. I like that they put the sound decibel on there and the big one for me is CFM 38 which is actually pretty good and I was doing some reading through here uh, they do actually use Molex uh, so that'll be really nice uh, we're set up and good to go for that so we're going to install these look at all these holy cow we're going to install these fans on this rack right here this is the one that we built from AAA Wave the other week Look how many fans you can support on this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13, can you believe it? I know, right? So let's do that right now, actually. So this is gonna be packed full of the gprisers.com 120 millimeter LED white ring fans in three, two, and one. Okay, so I decided to just do five um, to get started. I felt like four on this side and four on this side was entirely overkill. Uh, so here is the fan right here. Let me show that to you guys real quick. Let's step out here, it's a little quieter. So GPU risers does not pay me in any way. They provide me this hardware and ask for my honest opinion. So a few things about this. The quality is really good. This doesn't feel super cheap. Um, they actually added this like rubber to each of the corners, which, oh God, don't drop it. <laughs> uh, this rubber in the corners, which is really, really nice. Um, there's LED, this is actually the LED ring right here. And then on the back side, there's actually LED right here too. That clear grayish area right where my like nail is, that's all LED as well. So there's an LED ring on this side, an LED ring on this side, which is pretty nifty. Um, but, and it's fully Molex here, and it's only the two pin Molex, so you just connect these together, kind of daisy chain them, uh, which is what you see right here. So I, just to demonstrate, I daisy chained all these together, and then just wired them down to this uh, HP, or this um, Ares Game 750 watt power supply. But I wanted to show these guys to you because I was super excited. You ready for this? Oh, 
it looks so good. I can feel the air coming off of these too. And then if you swing these around, I'm trying to do it without messing up the plug here. Check that out. Oh, it looks so good. Nobody tell GP risers, but I kind of want to replace all of the fans in there in here in this rig and all the fans in that rig. And I have two more of those cases coming. I kind of just want to put all of those fans in it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so cool. They look awesome and they pump out a decent amount of air, which is nice. Okay, so let's go back over here now that this is a mess. And I'm gonna go through the hardware that I'm gonna put this rig together with today. Let's get these out of the way. Okay, so here's what we're building today. Uh, so let's go through what we're gonna be putting into this rig. So we have an R9 380. It's a four gig card. I've used it for a lot of speculative mining. I have two of those, they're by Gigabyte. Uh, I actually sold my other R9380s. Uh, I was able to get $200 each. Uh, I bought them for about a, uh, 120, 130. I thought it was a good time to sell those off uh, as my farm has grown. So we sold those off and uh, today I actually bought myself another 6600. Uh, so that's coming in the mail currently off of Newegg. Uh, these three we received from Anonymous Miner in a previous video. If you guys want to check that out. These are the RX 574 gigs. Uh, I will be mining either Ethereum Classic, Ravencoin, or Ergo on these. I'm thinking Ergo. I want to continue to build that wallet, even if it's a small trickle with Ergo, because I really do believe that Ergo may take off after uh, proof of stake occurs with Ethereum. Up here, we did a previous video comparing the two of these. We have a 6600, that's a Power Color Hellhound, and a 6600 Sapphire Pulse. Uh, we are going to be putting a 500 watt Aries game power supply in and connecting two cards to that as well as the motherboard. And we have a 750 watt um, platinum HP power supply as well. We got our PCI cables, our USB cables. We have our Y splitters that we'll be putting. Each one of these will only need one Y splitter. And uh, this is from GPRisers.com as well. These are amazing. Love these. Uh, we will be using GPU risers as well in this. These are the eight capacitor ones. Uh, they have the butterfly clip uh, as well as the gold USB. Uh, and then they do have two LED indicator lights on them as well as an indicator light on the PCI adapter card. We will be using a GPRisers.com solid state drive. So huge shout out to them guys. Like they, they are providing so much hardware for this rig. Uh, in this past week's video, we talked about the MSI Z170A. This is a seven PCI slot motherboard that we ordered over from China uh, through Newegg. And we will be using that with the i3-6100T. We have a Thermaltake $16 heatsink and one stick of eight gigs of 3200 DDR4. So uh, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time chatting away here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this rig built and then we'll get it powered up. Um, so you guys will see a new mining rig, an AMD mining rig sitting right here in two seconds. So while we are bio doing a BIOS flash, updating our BIOS as it's several years old, I thought I'd show you kind of where we are so far. So really liking this uh, frame. This frame is from AAA Wave. We did a video on it a few weeks back. Uh, but I haven't built anything in it yet. So I have my ATX power supply here. I actually like, there's multiple points. There's one, two, three, four different points to mount the frame to that power supply, which is nice. Uh, we have the motherboard fits very nicely in the middle. Something I did over here is I unscrewed the one fan screw and threaded it through. And now it, my uh, HP server power supply is nice and secure. So that works out awesome. Uh, in the back, we have our GPU riser solid state drive. The only thing that's more on my part is like, I have a whole bunch of these Aries game 750 watt and 500 watt power supplies. This one is like a 500 watt bottom of the barrel Aries game. And so it's not modular. <laughs> I hate non-modular power supplies because I'm gonna have so much extra cable on the back here. Now there's been no wire management done or anything like that, but still I'm gonna have like a a nest of Velcroed cables in the back, I already know it. 
but I wanted to get everything mounted and booted. This is something I recommend for you guys as new miner miners. It's like, don't jump the gun and get all your stuff wired up and then try to power it on. Take your time, get everything booted up, you know, get your BIOS updated, get, get all of your configurations done in the BIOS first. Make sure it boots into Hive OS entirely and comes up and then look at the option of, okay, you know, uh, let's get some GPUs installed. Do all of that stuff first. Well, it looks like our BIOS update finished. So I'm gonna get back to work. I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, moment of truth. Now, cable management is terrible. Look in the back. This is, this is all on me. I haven't done anything for cable management in the back because I just spent an hour and a half troubleshooting this. Take a look. So I had that motherboard, CPU, heatsink, RAM, everything, solid state drive in here, and it would get to the Hive OS screen where it's got that blue screen. I think they call it the grub. And it counts down to like 30 seconds and then it boots into Hive OS. So after that blue, that bluish screen, it would go to a black blank screen and do nothing. And I, Factory reset the BIOS, I made sure the BIOS was updated, everything. I don't know exactly what it was, but like, I don't have time to mess with that right now. Like I needed to get up and running. I reseated the memory, I tried a different solid state drive, I reflashed the drive, everything. So long story short, I have to look into that, but I'm so happy I had spare hardware available, and which is what we have here. So got that in, everything's up and running, which is great. So I got my cards installed, so let's go ahead and take a look, 6600. 6600, 574 gig, 574 gig, 574 gig, R9 380 and R9 380. Now, this frame is meant to fit 10 cards. It has seven right now. I don't see it fitting 10. We have a little like odd gap here, like there's three, you see how there's like three holes here and then three holes over here. I tried to like make it even, but it's seven cards. So it's this weird oddity. So like you have a three gap hole here, three here, three over here. So in some places like these two look closer together than this one, but whatever is all good. So each card has a GPRisers.com Y splitter coming out of it. They only use one eight pin on each card, which is so nice. And then the six pin goes down into the GPU riser, which you guys can see for each of these here. Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five. The first five cards are going back into my 750 watt breakout board which you can see right down here. And then these two cards are going into my 500 watt power supply. Now, it's an ATX 500 watt. These use, based off of my voltage meter, use 56 watts when mining each. So 112 plus the motherboard. We got plenty of headroom for 500 watts. And then this guy here, 750 watts to run five cards, uh, which shouldn't be too, too bad. Granted, they're AMD, they're older, they're not as efficient, but should be fine. Oh, I do have the fans uh, in the back on the ATX power supply as well. So let's go ahead and boot this up. Uh, to do that, we're gonna go ahead and press the power button on our server power supply. We're going to, where our power is on on our ATX. So we're gonna reach our finger back in here and press the power button on the board. Woo, look at that. Uh, it looks so good with those fans. Check those out. Okay, so we got our graphics cards up and booting. Oh, that's not what we want. Come on, come back for us. There we go. Just wanna make sure it all's good. Uh, you can see we have our LED lights here on our PCI adapter cards, which is nice, as well as underneath, uh, which looks good as well. So a lot of red mixed in with there. So here's one challenge we're running into. Nothing to do with the rig. So right now is the worst time possible for me to try to be turning up a new rig. You wanna know why? Because Hive OS is having an issue with their API that makes your rigs appear offline or unresponsive. Do you know how hard it is to set up a new rig when, when the GUI is not even showing anything? So uh, down below here, uh, you know, it, we booted it a while ago. It just shows the uh, on board, you can see here is our MSI Z170A, and it has our i3 6100T, 
uh, with our 64 gigabytes there. So I can't configure this rig. Um, it comes online and then goes offline. I don't know what you guys states are. Mine have been going on and offline all day and I've had to be checking the pools just to make sure it comes up uh, and that it is running. So I'll, if it says like one of my rigs is down, I'll go check the pool and it's all good to go and isn't having any problems. So that being said, I can't even configure this rig right now. But let me tell you guys what exactly we're gonna be mining on it. So let me power it off here. And uh, I'll tell you what we'll be mining on it. So we'll be doing Ethereum. We'll get just shy of 30 mega hash on our two 6600s. On our 3570, four gigs, we'll be mining Ergo. And on our last two, our R9380s, we'll be mining Ethereum Classic. So I'm gonna have this kind of doing a little bit of everything, um, but I like to continue increasing some of these wallets, like the Ergo wallet, my ETC wallet, and of course ETH. Um, just, just continuing that upward motion, just like, even if it's a little bit on, e uh, on Ethereum Classic or a little bit on Ergo, I think it goes a long way. Well, that's gonna wrap up this video significantly longer than what I wanted, but, uh, and ran into so many issues. Not only the board issue, but now like Hive's issue. But anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for today. Uh, I'm gonna put links to everything down below. For GP risers, guys, if you guys wanna get these fans, uh, you're interested in the GP risers, the solid state drives, the splitters, anything at gprisers.com, I have a 10% off discount code. None of that commission goes to me. Well, it is a sign from the mining gods when your camera dies. <laughs> On top of everything else that has happened with just this rig and oh my gosh, Hive OS and everything today, uh, I think it's time to wrap things up. Uh, anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will give you guys an update on this rig in a future video when Hive OS is back up and running. Take care.